Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. So today I'm doing a request uh, that I've gotten several times for the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 and that is just the benchmarks. So using two basic apps that most people know and that's Quadrant um, and the other one and Tutu, I believe it's how you say it. I'm not positive on that. Uh, but So just going to run them both. Alright, and we're just going to run the full one, and let it go on each one. Let's just move it like this, so you guys can see. CPU just finished, just ran through the memory. Now 2D graphics and next 3D graphics. Alright, most of you that have seen these kind of tests know how the basic ones go. And I believe this is the last one, if I remember correctly. Usually there's three or four, I forget. I think there was four. Alright, do you want to proceed? Yes, let's go. And now it's ending the benchmark results. All right, so uh, the benchmark scored uh, 2556, which is greater than the original Samsung Galaxy Tab um, and uh, greater than even the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. So uh, pretty decent. Um, CPU's okay. What really kind of made it stand out was the power. Um, 3D's okay again. Actually, the original Galaxy Tab a little had a little bit better 3D rendering. Of course, because uh, the NVIDIA on that one. Um, overall, the CPU processor was what uh, made it a lot better than the original Galaxy Tab. But yeah, so that was uh, Quadrant. And now, again, just to be fair, I always like to kill everything just so we get the best kind of results. Something I notice a lot of people don't do when they're trying to run these tests. So. Now let's check out this one. And start the test. Sorry, I haven't used that one for a while. So right now it's testing the CPU and the memory. Give you guys a little zoom in. So right now it's just finishing up the CPU. Bouncing androids. Everyone loves bouncing androids.
everyone. Bouncing out of control, you know. Now, of course, the spinning lights. They're very colorful. Now the knights. Testing out the frame for a second. And it seems like it's doing about 22. Oh, there it goes, 23. Alright, and... Testing out... Oh, well, it would test out the SD card, except I don't have one in there, so I don't know if that'll continue on or if that'll... Just fail. That eighty five percent up. There it goes. Nine two. I guess it technically could still test out the sensor uh, read and write speed, so it's just finishing up. And there we go. Uh, I'll submit them later then. All right. So this device on here. Oop. Let me zoom out a little for you. So this device on here, uh, as you can see, it slightly is right above the Amazon Kindle Fire. Um, in comparison to the Galaxy S2, Galaxy Nexus, Galaxy Note, and of course, uh, Asus Transformer Prime, it is nowhere near it. So, uh, plain and simple, like I've said from the start, it is better than the Amazon Kindle Fire in terms of uh, higher end tablets, though, you know, obviously going to be a difference in comparison to them. And these are the results, just so you can see it a little bit better. So it was 4,888, it looks like to me. So, yep, those are the key results. If you guys have any other questions, uh, definitely feel free to ask. Once again, this has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.